This guide is meant for experienced players if you need step-by-step -step instructions on where to start the quest, how to get to certain locations, or other basic things of that nature. This guide is not for you. So, for the quest regicide, you will need to have 56 agility, which is boostable, and 10 crafting. Uh, actually, I guess you don't need 10 crafting. Um, but if you don't have 10 crafting, you will have to have someone make you a strip of cloth, which is not traded through the Grand Exchange. Um, and then you need to have completed an underground pass. Uh, you need to be able to defeat a level 110. And then the required items are 20, or actually, the guide says 20 plus coal, but I would say if you follow this guide and do exactly what I do, 10 should be plenty. Um, bow and some arrows. Um, at least two ropes. I'm going to bring three though, just an extra just in case I fail. Uh, a spade, piece of limestone that's not a limestone brick, just a piece of limestone, tinderbox, and anti poison or antidote, strip of cloth, pestle motor, gloves. Pots and a cooked rabbit. And then I'd recommend bringing in stamina potions and energy, super energy potions, and some weapons to kill a level 110. Um, then also some food, although I'm a higher level, I probably won't need food. I should probably grab some though anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut off the recording really quick and go grab some food. Some food, I'd also recommend Fally teleports, a Remington teleport, and six, or not six, probably at least three RD teleports, I'm not sure how many exactly, I just bring six, just to be safe, and then a dueling ring also. Um, so to start the quest you speak to King Lathis. After you speak to him. Also another thing I should mention, before you can even start the quest you have to get a message from a messenger that's just, it ran, he randomly shows up after you've completed um, after you've completed underground pass. So sometimes that, that happens like minutes after you complete underground pass, other times it can take hours. So it's just random. You can't actually start this quest until you get that message. So once you get that message, talk to King Lathis and head over here and head west. Side right here. Over this rock slide. Talk to Kotic. Should give you a cloth or something. Use it on an arrow. And use the iron or use the fire arrow on the fire. And you want to equip your bow and the fire arrow and fire at guide rope from over here. Use your rope on this rock right here. If you fall down, you just have to make your way through like a maze of rocks down there. That's it's not really a maze because there's only one way you can go pretty much. So you just follow the path. Out of the maze, you'll end up at the beginning of this um, dungeon, and you just have to make your way back through it. Come over this rock slide, and now you have to do the same uh, code or whatever that you did during the underground pass. 
same way you go, or the same way you went during that quest, so that's that's the path I had to go on. And mine, mine's pretty simple, that's why I was able to remember it. If you don't know it, then you'll just have to try until you find out uh, you, how to get across. Just by trial and error, you just try each square until you make it across. Head into this well, head west. I'm going to pick lock the cage, this very first one to the south, then stand right next to this mound and use your spade to dig, then head west, and you want to do this little agility obstacle. If you have 50 plus leaving, head over here to pick lock this cage door, then head east. If not, you're going to have to go along that, um, that path that's over the spikes. Through this obstacle pipe, the tunnel. run past that. Stop one space in front of it like I did and then run past it. You shouldn't get hit by anything. Then you want to head into this door. Then you want to head south. Looks like I'm lagging which really sucks. Cross the bridge right here. Next up you want to cross the bridge over here. If you fall, head north, northwest. If you don't fall, you just want to make your way into that um, big room that's kind of in the center of that place. Same place you went during the underground pass quest. But if you fall, you want to head northwest up through that door that I just went through, and then head south, and then cross this bridge right here. I'm kind of thinking that weight kind of affects how your chance your chance of falling. Uh, if you have a lower weight, you have a better chance of making it. I don't know if that's for sure, so don't take that um, take that with a grain of salt. That's just kind of kind of feels like that after doing this quest a lot of times. It kind of feels like if you have lower weight, it may higher your chances, but I could be completely wrong. through at this door and then you want to climb down the well head west into 
this cave exit. Then head west again, there'll be a short animation after you run a little ways. There it is. This guy pops up, talks to you, then he gets killed. Then these guys talk to you. Then you want to jump the leaves. You want to head west. Kind of west of the, these mushrooms, there should be a little stick trap. You want to pass sticks. Just keep trying until you make it. Once you make it, you want to head northwest. You want to jump these leaves. Continue heading northwest. Should you see a log you have to walk across? And head northeast. Over here there should be a guy named Lord Song. Lord Earworth, whatever. <laughs> Earworth. Speak to him. And I am really lagging. Tell when the chat when those chat options take an entire second to continue. Um, so walk. You want to come back here to the log. Walk across it. Then you want to walk south. Jump the leaves again. Continue running south. Should come across a tracker, elf tracker, speak to him. Then head northwest back up to the Lord Earworth, whatever. <laughs> necklace or an amulet. Now you gotta head back down to the tracker. to him once again. And you want to head west. You want to examine, um, if I can find the right click option, to follow the tracks is what you want to do. And after you click follow the tracks, you want to go back and speak to the elf tracker once again. And now you want to head into the dense forest. This part takes 56 agility, so if you brought boosts in order to get to 56, you'd have to use them right now. And you'll have to go through these again later on in the quest. Uh, and also you have to kill this dude after you go through there.
can be kind of a hard fight if you're low level. Um, but if not, he's pretty easy. So head up here once he's dead, and you can try and go pat and try and do this obstacle course, but the fail rate on it is so high that I don't know if I'd bother. Well, I guess I did just bother, but you usually fail. Um, so after you go past that, you want to go through this dense forest. Head west, and then through this dense forest. Through this dense forest. Speak to General something. Should be around here somewhere. General Heinig. Speak to the general. You want to take a barrel, maybe a second one. Um, just to be safe. And you want to head through the dense forest again. Back to where the tracker is at. Once you're back here, you want to head south. Now you want to use your barrel on the tar. Use both of your barrels on the tar. Then you want to head north. Also take some sulfur, really make sure to get your sulfur. Use your pestle motor on it to get ground sulfur. And then you want to head north back to um, the Lord, whatever his name is. this guy again, he should give you a book. Open it up. Now you want to teleport to Fowley. Head into the furnace. Use your limestone on the furnace. Make sure you have gloves on. Then use your pestle motor on what you get with a pot in your inventory next to you on the bank. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Castle Wars. bank one of these barrels of coal tar for now. You may or may not need it later on. Then I'm going to unnote my coal. And teleport to Remington. That should hopefully be enough. I'd say that you want the very minimum is six coal. I think. I'd say that. So to distill tar you use your barrel of tar on the fractionalizing still and copy exactly where I clicked. So over here on the tar regulator you want to click on the right side of it twice. This pressure gauge will start going up then you want to click on the pressure valve once the arrow hits the green. And now uh, so the knob should be pointing up on that one and the knob should be pointing right on this one. And this arrow should not be moving anymore, it should be still and this heat one is about to move. You want to go to the center, click add coal twice, and then a third time after you wait a second, and then you just want to wait for the heat gouge to start going down like that, and then you add another coal, and then just wait for it to start going down 
once it starts going down you add another coal and you just repeat that wait for it to start going down then add a coal wait for it to start going down and then add another coal until this bar is fully green and it is complete although I guess you guys can't see my mouse my mouse is kind of in the wrong spot on the camera but yeah you can look up a guide if that didn't make sense what I just said so anyway after you distill it you want to head to Artie you want to add your ground sulfur with the barrel of naphtha and you want to use your pot of quick, quick lime on the barrel also I should have a barrel bomb and there's one last thing you want to add and that is and also I'm going to teleport to Castle Wars really quickly and grab some Staminas as you have to go through the underground pass once again and I'm about out. You could just bank an Artie. Um, I just thought Castle Wars would probably be faster so that's where I went there. Why I went there. So anyway. And there's one last thing to add to the barrel bomb, and that is the strip of cloth. So add that to it, and it is set. So you're going to be heading back through the underground pass. So you just head west. Continue heading west. And this barrel weighs quite a bit, so it may be a good idea to have super energies and staminas. because your stamina probably won't keep your energy up the entire two minutes. So head over here, equip your bow. Talk to Koftik, get the cloth, use that on your arrows, use the fire arrow on the fire, and head up into this little area, and from here shoot at the rope. South. And then east over here once again. Use your rope on the rock. Thankfully I got across first try. That really slows you down when you fall. same same uh, path or whatever you took last time across here will be the same every time for the rest of your account go through these traps stand one spot in front of them and then run past down the well, head west, pick lock the cage up here, dig right next to this hole or this mound, whatever thing, mud, continue heading west, 
do this um, cross the ledge, this little agility obstacle. You fall, just run back around and try it again. So you just make your way over here the same way as always and through this door, down this well. Jump the leaves. Pass the sticks over here. dense forest over here once again. Now I'm going to bother with that trap because the click option is so tiny and the fail rate is just way too high to bother with it and you don't get hit too much. It does usually poison you, but I'm wearing the Serp Helm, but in the beginning I recommended to bring a anti-poison antidote so that would cancel it out too. So 
doesn't matter too much. Anyway, head over here and you want to use your cooked rabbit on this guy. Then you want to use your barrel bomb on the catapult. Not on the winch, I'm going to use it on something. I guess I'll just try on the regular catapult part. I think that is correct, so just use it on this part right here. And I'll do a little animation of your character winding that up and loading it and firing it. to head over here, head east, back through the dense forest, back here you want to head north we're gonna head back to Lord Iroworth speak to him After you speak to him, you want to teleport to Artie and speak to the king. After you speak to the king, that is quest complete. Also, when you head over here towards the castle, this um, guy will pop up and say something to you. Just go through all the dialogue with him, then head up here to the castle and speak to the king. A quest complete.